Okay, so do a little video here. So this is our third trip down to California this season. And uh, got a bunch of help with me this time too that uh, is absolutely awesome. So what they're doing is going through the hives that I had marked from our previous trip for splitting. And we're just confirming the strength before we split them. Uh, we did this side already. And uh, let me see if I can find, it's probably about 56 degrees, but the sun's out, so the bees are starting to fly. It looks, it's wonderful to see them fly. But um, the bees are going in the orchards tonight. And, aha, uh -huh, here. Okay, so here's, here's one we've set up for splitting. Just to kind of give you an idea of the strength that we're looking for for splitting. Uh, the ones that we're, we have set up for splitting, they're jam-packed. They're, they're two, uh, two boxes full of bees. Yeah, I mean, that's... And both, both boxes look like that. So what we're going to do, we've got our queens in already. I just picked them up from the UPS here. We're going to go ahead and throw the queen in the top box and then when they slow down, stop flying later this afternoon, early evening, we'll call that split. This box, this is the new box, goes on top of it and then the new split goes to its own pallet and gets another box with a feeder and we're feeding both of them. But, uh, I'll do a little video here in a bit showing showing the process of uh, how we shake the bees down. Pretty simple, pretty basic. But uh, yeah, so that's, that's what we're looking for. We're looking at the bees that we're, we're splitting. Uh, they, are, they are full. Now the bees that we're not splitting look great, but we just want to err on the side of safety send in really good looking bees uh, for the pollination. So anyways, catch you. Well, we ran out of time to do a uh, to do a video on how we were shaking the bees. We kind of explained it though, so probably no need to uh, we got all the splits fed and, uh, and the hives that we took the splits off of fed last night. Tyler did a great job. So now we're just uh, Getting the bees loaded to go out to the fields. And they're looking, they're looking good. Looking real good. And hopefully they will continue to look good. Some last minute maintenance and we're back on the road. Back home here. So I'm back, I'm back here in Washington and went to review those two little videos and realized that I didn't really clarify how we do the splits of shaking down the bees. Um, I do have a previous video, I'll actually try to add the link to that in the description of this video of where we showed the process of shaking bees down. But uh, just to kind of do an overview of it real quick, so we have doubles, you know, two, two deep supers, one over the other. What we're doing is, here's the first super, here's the second super. We're taking this second box off, putting it to the side, and then slowly but surely shaking each one of those frames from this box into this box so that there is an incredibly high probability that the queen is getting shooken down into that first box. The, the box that you're shaking the bees out of, you wanna make sure that you're very systematic in the sense of starting with the outermost frames and then slowly working your way in. Usually what I do is take uh, one or two frames out, the outermost lane frames, hopefully you're following me. If you have 10 frames, I'm, I'm removing frame nine and 10, the outermost ones. Because most, most of the time, there's always exceptions. Bees do weird things, but for the most part, 
your brood and everything else are going to be in the center frames. So you're removing those outer frames first, shaking them off. I usually take those first two frames and set them aside after I've shaken them onto the first box. And then systematically shake each frame off into that first box. Once all the bees have been shaken into that first box, like I said, there's a high probability the queen's in there. There's always a slight chance that you shook her beside the box or whatever else. That's why we like to usually put an empty box on top of the box that we're shaking the bees into, kind of use it as a funnel. But anyway, so after we've done that, then we put the queen excluder on and put that second box back on. The brood that is in that second box draws the bees up and then we take that off as the split uh, later in the afternoon, evening, after the bees have kind of stopped flying so that you have the greatest population of bees in there. Also too, um, so we were pulling those splits in the evening and then the very next morning before the bees started to fly those new splits were getting put into the almond fields and uh, they were great, great looking splits. Uh, I was really, really pleased with what we got there. So anyways, hopefully uh, this has been educational for you and uh, we will catch you again on the next video.